How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. So in the last adventure we just managed to defeat Plantera, which means we can summon the powerful and amazing Pygmies now. Which is pretty cool. Now, before we move on to Golem and all that good stuff, we've got some turtle shells and I was thinking about what armor path to go down. And I think for um for this playthrough, and especially the fact it's expert mode, uh, defense is very critical because you take tons of damage. Now, I am about 10 chlorophyte bars short. Um, I believe the full set of turtle armor needs, I think it's 54. So let's just have a look. So 12, 36, 46, 54, yeah. So we're going to have to pick up a tiny little bit of chlorophyte, but I think it's worth it, especially for the golem fight. Um, so we can use pygmies, but it would be nice to have some extra defense. So, let's, let, we might as well start crafting some of it anyway, why not? Um, I was going to make Shroomite again, but, you know, I don't want too much crossover with my series as well, like Gavin's using Shroomite armor, so it is nice to do something a bit different. Okay, so we needed, what did I say, 12 more bars? 10 more bars. 10 more bars, cool. So we're going to have to pick up some of that. I've also got a jungle key, which means we can get the piranha gun from the... Piranha gun from the... Dungeon. Uh, so that'll be kind of cool. But I think, yeah, our first job is to go back to the dun <laughs> The dungle. <laughs> go back to the dungle. And, yeah. Uh, also, another thing I wanted to do is get some Spelunker potions. You know, I actually want to set up some more... Uh, loot chests because we're starting to have a bit of an overflow of loot and we don't really want that happening. Okay, staff of regrowth. So if you're doing your own playthrough, anytime it rains, make sure you harvest as much of your water leaf as you can. Uh, it's super useful and because it rains infrequently in Terraria, unless you grab it when it's raining, you're going to run out and you don't want that. So as you can see, I've got tons of water leaf now. So that's going pretty good. So, where can we put our chests? This looks like a good spot. So I just made some more rich mahogany... Oh, I can't... Uh. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> I thought that was going to work. Okay. Let's just put some... Not mechanic, your head is in the way. Where's your head at? It's in the way, mechanic. So, let's put this here. I just want to store some of the more powerful weapons that we will be using, but we're not using right now. So things like our pirate stuff, turtle stuff, um, stuff we will be using, but we don't need it right this second. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I uh, probably don't need the titanium helmet just at the moment. And the yo-yo glove and the yellets. Oh, I don't think yo-yos are going to be that good against Golem. Just because you have to run around so much, I'd rather keep my distance with Shadow Flame Knives and stuff, but we'll see what happens. It's still early days. It's happy days and it's early days. Okay, uh, let's put our Angler Earring in. Beautiful. So, we are off to the jungle. Okay, so a solar eclipse has just started spawning. So this is actually a little bit dangerous because solar eclipses have been powered up quite a bit in the 1.3 update. So I'm actually going to use my buff potions just to ensure that we survive this. Now I could, I could actually chill out in our, our summoning box here because uh, that will keep us moderately safe. The only dangers are, I'm pretty sure deadly spheres can get, I don't know, they when I was making the solar eclipse farm they seem to phase through blocks. But they don't seem to be now, so I'm a, I'm a little confused. But uh, let, we'll jump out and do a bit of fighting too, because why not? But as you can see, these mobs are actually pretty tough. And we are not... We've got good weapons, but they're not the most powerful just yet. So what I think I'll do... Oh, goodness, an Izor. So it would be cool, actually, if we could get the Deadly Sphere to drop from... A, deadly sphere. <laughs> that sounds dumb saying the same thing twice. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Oh gosh. Uh, actually it'd be good if I could get some Nimbus just up there. There we go. That's kind of fun. 
And then I'll summon the pygmies in this box. Oh, check it out, guys. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't stay in the box. Okay, this is pretty nice. All right, all right. <laughs> um, if I could little... Actually, what I need to do... If I can just open up, like, a shooting hole there. Ah, there we go. I can deal with all these guys. This is actually... This is our pirate farm, but this is pretty effective against solar eclipse. I'm impressed. It's working nicely. And as you can see, the flymen and all that deal will fall in there. <gasps> vampire. We need a, um... What do we get off the vampire? Is it the moonstone? Moonstone? Moon charm. No, it's moonstone. Um, and with that, if we can get the sunstone off the golem, we can make the celestial stone. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Now... I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know how long the solar eclipse goes for? You've got two seconds to answer. One, two, that's right, 15 minutes. Now, as much as I'm sure you would love to watch me sitting in this box killing monsters for 15 minutes, how about I speed it up a bit and we continue our journey once the solar eclipse is over. Sound good? Cool. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, we got it, we got it! Yes, 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 Deadly Spheres! Oh my gosh, help me Deadly Spheres! Ah! No! Don't put wiring down, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, are Deadly Spheres better than Pygmies? I think they might be. It's hard to say. I think, considering I'm not going to use Summoner Armor, it's probably better to have one Deadly Sphere than... Yeah, let's see, let's try it. Let's put the sphere in there. Oh, look at it go. I think the strength of the deadly sphere is it does air of effect attacks, whereas pygmy is a single target, so it's kind of useful. Kind of useful. And if we can get, you know, I might pick up something like pygmy necklace so we can equip a second one, which would be cool. But uh, for now, that that was nice. Actually, I really want to get a Re Reaper's Scythe. That would be amazing. But I think it's almost night time, which will end the eclipse. So yeah. But that's okay. We've done alright. Although the Psycho Knife is not the best weapon. It's strong, but yet it doesn't have great mo knockback. So yeah. If I got a weapon that increased knockback, I might need um, one of those gloves... Uh, I can't remember the name, but I know there's gloves that increase your knockback. It's an accessory, so that would be totally worth it. Beautiful. Okay, we didn't get much out of it, but we got the Deadly Sphere, which is an amazing summon. I can't believe we replaced our pygmy so quickly. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, well, let's go straight to the Goblin Tinkerer and see what Reforge we can get. So I've got three Platinum in the bank. So Ruthless is the best one. Masterful. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to take that just for now. Because it's pretty close to Ruthless. I'm missing out on 4%, but... Meh. You know. And let's give our Pygmy a quick spin. Alright, Mythical will do for now. Beautiful. Now, Psycho Knife, I'll save it. And this is what I made the extra chest for. I'll hang on to it because it might be useful later on. Okay, and let's put our extra traps in here. 
because I don't, I took them off. I don't think I'll need them anymore. And our extra cash, let's just change that into a platinum. Beautiful. There we go, four extra platinum. And that'll do. Okay, let's try this again. So I'm going to make my way to the jungle. <laughs> and let's see if we can actually get there this time. And here we are, finally having made it to the uh, dungeon, to the jungle. Oh, life fruit straight away. What a good sign, guys. What a good sign. So, we are going to do a little bit of exploration, looking for that amazing chlorophyte so we can finish off our turtle armor. And then, really, I, I, I would be happy to... Oh, should we do some dungeon exploring first, or should we go straight to the temple and fight Golem? It's a tough decision because both are equally viable. Like, you know, you can get some cool weapons from the... Uh, dungeon, but you know, you can also get great gear from Golem. So Yeah, so I think what we'll do is Mine the chlorophyte we need so I need about 60 ore and You know, I've got a spelunker active so I might as well just go for it and grab whatever we can find and then um Yeah, I'll sort of <laughs> Oh that Cthulhu shield gets me into so much trouble and then once we've got our turtle armor on, then I guess we can make a better decision about what we would like to do. Actually, is there any, um, Plantera bulbs? No. I was like, we could, we could fight another quick Plantera too. Because why not? <laughs> okay, so like always guys, I'll speed this up while we have a quick rumble in the jungle here. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we can find lots of Clarifite. And let's put the ore in our hotbar so I can see our total as we're going. And I'll see you on the other side. Yes, and I'm getting completely smashed. Oh, oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna die. Wow, was not expecting that. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a fun idea to check our, our artificial jungle biome. And yes, lo and behold, some life fruit has spawned there. So we are finally at max health. And there's a cute little plantera bulb just chilling out here too. Hey buddy, how's it going? Um, so if I ever feel like getting completely smashed like I just did then, and dying to Plantera, I could definitely uh, have another go. So, uh, we've got tons of Chlorophyte, so let's get those extra bars made. Whoa, we've got lots of Chlorophyte now. That is cool. So I can make the, uh, the armor, because I'm missing, was it the helmet I was missing? Let's see, I put it in the box. Yep, so I've got the chest plate. Let's put the statues in. Oh, we've got a Simon statue, by the way, in the jungle. That is, like, so awesome. Actually, how about I make this, like, my sorting box? So where I'll just dump stuff in while I'm chatting to you. And then uh, when I, in between sort of recording, I can sort out all the stuff. Yeah, this was the glove I was talking about. So if I want to use the uh, Psycho's knife, I think I need to equip something like a Titan glove. So it makes the weapon more useful. Okay, so let's get our turtle set out. And we just need to make the helmet, I believe. Which is cool. So that's going to give us a massive, massive upgrade. So, turtle helmet. Turtle power. Alright, so we've got 57 defense. War up to 73. That's pretty crazy. That is pretty crazy indeed. And here we are, deep in the corruption. And I'm doing a spot of fishing with my lovely deadly spheres. And the reason for that is I'm picking up some Eben Koi, which I've got one of so far. Where is he? Hey, buddy. And we're doing that so we can make, oh, Wrath. I'm pretty sure it's Wrath Potions. The one that makes you get 10% bonus damage. 
and I'm thinking that's going to be a necessity versus golem and every little point of damage is going to help. Hey guys, so I was just making my way to back to the jungle. Um, yes, I died. <laughs> and I just saw the traveling merchant and he's selling the pulse bow, which seems kind of cool. I haven't really used it much before, but because we've got the endless quiver, um, it actually seems like a, a pretty awesome weapon with its bounce effect. So, shoots a charged arrow. Oh, that's right, can't you... I thought it had like a charge up or something, but... That's still pretty cool, so it bounces. And I assume it pierces as well. So, awesome weapon we found. Uh, which I think may be very useful against Golem. I also found a golden crate while I was fishing, so let's open it. And we got some gold bars and some master pause bait. <laughs> so, that's kind of awesome. Okay. So yeah, let's go get some variegated lard fish because that's always the type of fish that you want, obviously. And so we've finished farming for our fishies and our all our good stuff. So let's put our extra lard fish in here. And it's time to get some potions ready for our upcoming battles. So let's make four iron skins. Our swiftness is going to be super useful against golem. Regens are nice and cheap. And I will bring on... I'm going to make more than what I need, and I can always put the spare potions in a chest. Uh, we've got enough armored cave fish, and our even koi is going to make our wrath potions. Oh, that's right. Thanks for pointing out in the comments. Um, I kept saying, why am I getting so many potions? And it's because the alchemy table gives you the 33% chance not to use ingredients, which is super, super useful. And here we are, standing on the steps of the temple, about to go in. Oh my gosh. And we've opened the door. And the lizard is ready to kick my behind straight away, which is lovely. Oh, spear traps, yes. So nice. Um, I did forget to bring some, but if you can remember to bring along danger sense potions on your first uh, trip through the temple, it will save you from running into lots of traps. Which is nice. <laughs> and my energy is full already. Oh my gosh, let's get rid of that. Uh, blah. Blah. I don't need yellets. Uh, look at it. I've got. <laughs> Inventory so full. Okay, so we're making our way in. Uh, I might come back for the furniture after. Whoa! Holy moly! Wow, actually I didn't think of it, but obviously we can pick up some solar temple fragments and farm some solar eclipses later, which is nice. Let's give our new pulse bow a go. Pulse bow a go. It's working all right. It's working quite nicely. Actually, it's probably perfect for the temple because of all the rebound opportunities. A little bit hard to aim, but apart from that, it's really good. Okay, some spiky balls over here, which is lovely. Let's pick those up. Oh, no, full inventory. Listen, just... And we're back. So basically what I did was I actually dumped a lot of the items out of our inventory. Um, I was carrying stuff like fishing equipment and, you know, I probably should put it away when I'm not using it because it just takes up inventory space. So, yeah. The other cool thing is now I can pick up all the furniture as we're going, which saves lots of time later on. So, winner winner, all round. Okay, there's, oh, there's actually some traps here, I didn't realise. Alright, do I actually, did I get a danger sense? Oh, so good. So good. Yep, that's it, just walk into the flamethrower. Why not? Just, hey, uh, it's a little cold in here, how about a flamethrower? Ooh. Gee, these traps hurt so much in expert mode, oh my god. Okay. Just got to take it slow, and everything will be okay. Hopefully. The I love how the oh oh my god. Oh, the damage. I love how the lizards sound in the new update. They sound so funny. <laughs> oh, oh 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 oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I might equip my uh, charm of miss while we're in here. 
Because I have a feeling we're going to be using quite a few potions. Quite a few. Uh, let's see. Oh, yay. Silver bars. We can pick on Eye of Cthulhu later. That'll be nice. Hey. <gasps> yep, that's it. Grapple on to... <gasps> no, no, no! Blop! Blop! <laughs> I agree with you guys. I don't know what sound effects I'm making either. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, I think we're getting near the chamber. The golem chamber. <gasps> Look at all these traps. This is amazing. Yes. Love lots of traps. And spiky balls will be... No, 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 no. Go away, go away, go away. Stop. No. Oh. I'm dead. Again. Alright. We're good, I think. No, we're not good, we're not good, we're not good! We're not good! We never were good! No! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so we are back. Back in the room of death. And I'm excited to be here. Oh my gosh, don't die again, Happy. Um, and I've actually, for the first time in... For the first time since forever. I feel like I'm quoting a movie. For the first time. Yeah. Um, so, oh my gosh, I'm setting off traps. Okay. So what we're, I've equipped is the spore sack from Plantera. And I feel that the little, the, the problem I was having is that the monsters are overwhelming me. So the spores should help uh, to add some damage that we sorely need here. And thanks so much as always for watching another episode of our Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. So next episode, what should we do next? Let me know in the comments. It's um, a dungeon raid sounds like a good idea to fight some of the tougher mobs in there. But um, yeah, I, I, I think maybe Pumpkin Moon even. Oh my gosh. I, I didn't think I'd be thinking about Expert Mode Pumpkin Moon so soon. But, uh, I guess it's the next logical step. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so hard. <laughs> okay, it's time for some shoutouts as always. And our first one is from Spencer Alt Anderson. And he's asked me to say in, like, one of those documentary narrator voices. Um, he's asked me to say this following. And now, we see a cookie in the wild. <laughs> That's awesome. And uh, I love that shout out too because I love watching those documentary things. They're like, if one's on TV, I end up watching it for ages. Um, our next one is from, oh, I think it's a French name. It's Eloy Genier. Eloy, it's G E N I E R. I think it's Genier. So Eloy Genier. And he's asked me to say, I love biscuits in French. So I'm not French. I think you can tell that from my voice. So, you know, here goes with pronunciation. I think it's. Jamais les biscuits. Ja, jamais les biscuits. Jamais les biscuits. <laughs> I think that's I love biscuits or I like biscuits. I'm not totally sure. So thanks for that, Eli. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm learning other languages doing this, guys. Our next one is from Herbert the Dog. And that's that new thing where everyone's spelling dog with the D-O-G-E. And it's that really cute picture of a... Oh, what's the, what's the breed called? It's that really cool breed. It's like a cute looking dog. Anyway, he's asked me to say, In a Cookie Monster's voice, he's asked me to say, Cookie Monster loves cookies! <laughs> oh my gosh. And if you've played Agario, which is that game where you're a dot and you eat other dots or cells, I love it. I love when I'm playing it and someone's using the dog picture. <laughs> it's like this giant dog's trying to eat you. It's pretty funny. Okay, I'm getting very distracted in these shoutouts today. Our next one's from Bob McFarlane. And he's asked me to say, A cookie a D keeps the wyvern away. I like that. And I've noticed I haven't been attacked by a wyvern uh, this, this shoutout. So that's kind of cool. I think a part of me was hoping a wyvern would come and say hi then. And to finish off, we got a nice Dragon Ball Z reference. And it's from Kayla Cummings, and she's asked me to say, It's over 9,000! Thanks for that, Kayla. I love Dragon Ball Z. Oh my gosh. I want to collect all the DVDs. Like, I think that'd be awesome. Or Blu-rays. Blu-ray? I don't know. It's like an old cartoon, so does Blu-ray make it look that much better? I don't know. Anyway, so leave a like if you've enjoyed this episode and you enjoyed watching me die so many times in the Lizard Temple. I found it kind of funny too. <laughs> um, keep those comments coming and letting me know what you want to see in the uh, next episode. So there's a few things we can do. 
Gavin was torn in half by a spiky ball. Lovely. Um, there's a few things we could be doing. So dungeon raid or starting to set up for Pumpkin Moon. And I actually had a thought, guys. Hear me out. Instead of making a usual AFK farm like I've got here for Pumpkin Moon, I thought I would just fight it legit. Like, just go... Well, it's not that this isn't legitimate. I'm not, I'm not using an AFK farm, just the template of it. I thought I would actually just set up a couple of platforms and try and take on Pumpkin Moon head on. So, <laughs> I know that's pretty crazy to do in expert mode, but I, I like to challenge myself in Terraria. So, yeah, let me know. Um, and what's the last thing we've got? Oh, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> if you've been watching our vids for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, consider clicking that little HD icon and you'll get updated straight away when a new video is out. Okay, <laughs> here's the most important part. As always, you guys stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you could see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!